to Busan is a delicious South Korean zombie apocalypse movie directed by Kyung Sung Ho. Kyung Ho played the protagonist in this movie and his performance was phenomenal. So when I first watched this movie in 2016, I went in blind. What I expected was a zombie apocalypse good time, but what I got was a, what's the word? A gift. A beautiful, horrific, emotional gift. Before I watched Train to Busan, I already had my favorite zombie apocalypse movie, which was World War Z. Then Train to Busan came in like a... World War Z, Shaun of the Dead, and The Army of the Dead are all great zombie movies. But this Korean movie here, it takes the cake for me. So the plot, you know how it goes in most zombie apocalypse movie? All it takes is for one infected person and a colossal horrifying chain reaction happens. In this case, the first infected person was a deer. Yes, like an actual deer, the animal. The actual zombie madness went down in a, you guessed it right, it went down in a train. Pretty simple plot. But what makes this zombie apocalypse movie different from the rest is the added focus on relationship. You've got relationship between the protagonist and his daughter, the husband and his pregnant wife, sisters. You have a crush and a crushy, and this self-centered as well as himself. He was in a relationship with himself. My gosh, they did wonders in depicting how selfish this guy is. He's a scumbag. So I'm trying my best here not to give away a lot of the plot so that I don't give you spoilers. So just go and watch the movie. So what do I like the most about Train to Busan? I like the tension. The tension is like 1,000%. Heart in mouth, edge of my seat kind of tension. As in, the viciousness of the zombies, the terror you feel when the characters are in a dangerous situation. It's just so, it was heart stopping. And that thing I also liked was the relationship growth between the characters. So Sikwu and the buff guy. You guys please understand that I want to be calling these characters with their real Korean names. I'm not a Korean, so I don't want to mess up their name. So yes, it was a hit as first sight between these two guys, but later as the movie progressed, they began to really like each other and look out for each other. And there was also the relationship between the crush and the crushy too. First, he was doing Shakara, like he didn't care that the girl liked him, but before, because of that force of joint trauma, it made them to just start liking themselves, and it was really, it was a good development. And ultimately, the relationship between Siok Wu and his daughter, first they were like strangers, and later was bowling like a kid on their behalf. Side note. I had to watch the movie again for this review and tears were in my eyes, like complete with painful throat throbbing. Boy, this movie was a serious, serious tear jerker. So if I'm to rate this movie, it's really a big fat A plus, like, cause bro, this movie is, is mad. Please watch it. So that'll be all guys. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.